Yes, where's that cat? <clears throat> cat. <laughs> Cats don't come when you call them generally. If you shake the frisky box, dogs have owners. Cats have staff. Anyway, it's great to see you. The topic this week is if you are part of this group, you have been attracted to, we all have been attracted together because there are great things that we are here to do. And of course, this is not to say we haven't already done that and that uh, we're missing the mark by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that what we do in this lifetime is variable. Let me expand on that a little bit. Do you think that your life has, do you think you were born with a mission and a purpose? There's a design and a plan to your life. I guess we're sort of going down one of those diagrams, you know, and we're going to follow it. Let's follow this with the, our giant intellects, because not only by being part of this group, do you have a incredible plan and things to do. You're also way smarter than everybody else. So that's smarter than everybody else. That's where this diagram goes. But do you think that you have a mission and a purpose to your life? Okay, so follow that. If you do, do you think your mission and purpose here is a certainty? Do you think it's guaranteed when we show up on this earth that we're that we're going to um, meet the mark? Or do you think that's very variable? Do you think some people show up into life and they kind of miss the mark? They they kind of mess it up a little bit. They don't come near what their potential is. Do you think this is why maybe we have more than one lifetime? Because we are here to refine and improve and upgrade and evolve and to grow and to progress. That's what I think. Anyway, so every lifetime is going to is an adventure to see to what degree we will fulfill our mission and our purpose to see to what degree. Here's how I would say it. To what degree we will experience God, express God, and expand God. I think these would be the milestones and the earmarks of a life well lived. And I think we're here to live a life well lived. But to some degree, some people really miss that mark. Of course, that correlates to the ancient word for sinning, which is, or for an archery term for missing the mark, which is sinning. So since it's a variable, how much of our life we're going to um, meet the mark, so to speak, then we have the opportunity right now at this point in our life, wherever we've gotten to realize there's so much more that we can do. There's so much more of a force of good that we can be. There's so much more of our mission and our purpose. And this means that we have to make this internal decision, head in that direction, uh, discipline ourselves to make sure that that happens. And also, as I've discussed this week, Whatever the biggest problem is, is not a problem, it's an opportunity. Many of us are in recovery and we noted that drinking or using a lot of drugs uh, was, a, was, not a, was our biggest problem by far. And yet it ended up being the turning point that brought us into recovery that has delivered extraordinary and glorious lives for so many, but it sure didn't look like it at the start. The biggest problem became the biggest uh, explosion, if you will, of, of God's will and us living to the full. So if you feel like you're fully expressing, expanding and experience God and you're uh, hitting on all cylinders, great. If you're not, if you're in this group, we can commit together to refocusing, re-aiming, aiming as high as we can. And if we are facing a big, hairy problem, I am, and I'm not going to elaborate on it, but the big one for me it's like, it's, it's a big one. I don't, don't know what to do, but I'm going to keep asking, keep looking, and I'm going to insist that it's God beating on the door and God always triumphs in a landslide. Anyway, I hope you found my little diagram interesting and that the variable of how much our life we will live in this life is an adventure and let's live it to the full. See you tomorrow.